If you want to win some free PSN or Xbox gift cards, all you got to do is be subscribed to my channel, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Also, if you guys want to get your hands on some cheap Master Prestige accounts for any Call of Duty games, check out Digizani. The link will be down in the description, and make sure to use code GOBLIN. Yo, what is up, guys? It's the Goblin, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. Today's video is going to be a third episode of my newly reinvented series, How to Get Better at Black Ops 3. Basically what this series is, is you guys ask me questions in the comment section down below and specifically questions about tips and tricks for Black Ops 3 and Call of Duty. I answer the, a few of them each episode and uh, try to give you guys some different tips and some better tips and stuff like that. So today's episode is going to be focused mostly on how to have perfect aim in Black Ops 3. But of course there's going to be a bunch of other questions. If you guys could drop a like on this thing, 2,000 likes would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And there's also some new weapons added to Black Ops 3. So if if you missed those my last two videos have some gameplay of the new weapons if you want to check that out subscribe if you're new and let's get right into this so the first question here we have is how do you hit people easier when they when while they are strafing side to side with stock it makes it way harder for me to hit or maybe i just suck probably both so this is a very good question and this is something that honestly is kind of hard especially in this game because before black ops 3 people never really used or there wasn't even the option to use submachine guns with stock and that's one thing that I, I know pro players complain about and a lot of people have trouble with is specifically when a person with an SMG has stock it can be kind of hard to kill them while strafing now the only tips that you know assault rifles with stock of course uh, pretty much an assault rifle with stock is equal to an SMG without stock but an SMG with stock is like doubling down and it can be really hard to win gunfights against people who are strafing so a few tips to win these are number one you stock yourself if you're both strafing back and forth it's pretty much an even playing ground and that's the number one tip I would, I would give for that um, as well as basically all you can do here is if they're strafing side to side maybe you don't have stock mixed stock maybe you have an assault rifle with stock they have an SMG with stock you might have to do something different to win the gunfights such as double jumping um, drop shotting was way good back in the day but the number one thing here is if you see an enemy and you just panic just smash uh, the, the jump button double jump because you'll just go flying up with your jetpack and it makes their shots a lot harder to hit Stock is a lot more helpful for gunfights 1v1 on the ground rather than shooting a person up in the sky. That's more of your sensitivity going to work than it is with stock. So there's some quick tips to help you there. Next question is going to be, um, hey Goblin, I've got a question. How do you get better at your aim? So a very simple question, but I wanted to throw this one into the video because this is something I want to talk about quite a bit. Now, aiming in Black Ops 3 is such a key. Aiming in Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare and even Advanced Warfare is much more important than it's going to be in World War II or in previous Call of Duty games. And the reason for that is in this game, people can be anywhere they could be on a wall they could be literally a jumping right beside the ceiling or they can be on the ground on a head glitch so there's a lot more areas you are areas uh that you have to cover rather than in world war ii with boots on the ground people are just going to be on the ground or in a building or something like that so aim is super duper important and how to improve your aim is simply th there's a few little quick tips the main thing i can say here how to improve aim is to play the game a lot. The more you play the game, the more locked on your aim was and the higher you can raise your sensitivity. The other day I was watching some of my older videos. Um, I watched a triple MOA video I had from Modern Warfare 3 and I was playing on a seven sensitivity. Now back in the day, there was only up to 10 sensitivities. It wasn't like up to 14 or up to 20 like it is in these newest Call of Duty games. So seven sensitivity back, back in the day was very high and my aim was still absolutely on point and that was because during mw3 was probably that was like my favorite call of duty game that was probably when i was playing the most and that's when i first started getting a, a bit of popularity on youtube and when you're playing a lot you're able to raise your sensitivity up so that your aim can be a lot higher now i think having a high sensitivity is good in a game like black ops because people can be anywhere like like i said maybe you're looking at a doorway you see a guy up in a window double jumping you're gonna have to sw sw swipe over there um, and get him with a high sensitivity. So tips for improving your aim is play a lot and raise the sensitivity as much as you can. But like I've said before, when I talk about sensitivity is when you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm missing shots and my sensitivity is costing me gunfights because it's too high. You want to raise it down lower. But usually one thing that if you actually want to improve your sensitivity and like make it higher so you can have that aim bot like perfect aim, you want to play and raise your sensitivity up one point per day or maybe one point per week, one point per hour, depending on the, the you know timeline you're trying to do. I say if you play 
play a lot and you just raise your sensitivity up one point per day, it would be pretty good until you realize, okay, this is a bit too high for me. I can't really handle this. Then raise it down. That's some pretty good sensitivity tips for how to improve your aim. Next tip or next question, sorry. Hey, Goblin, what is the best way to control recoil? Now, this is a very common question and I'm going to say a few things. There is a way to control recoil. It's kind of what I do. It's a more advanced tactic where when you're shooting at people, you kind of want to, if you have a gun that has vertical recoil, which most guns in Call of Duty have just vertical recoil, you kind of want to pull down on that right thumbstick a little bit, but that is a more advanced tactic. That's something that you probably shouldn't be focusing on unless you're already a really like high KD player. Um, that's something that even I don't do very much. The main tips to control recoil is number one, the simple one, run grip. I know that's really simple, but it is also very helpful. Number two, is, and this is the biggest tip, is understanding your gun. If you have a Vesper, it doesn't matter if you have a Vesper with grip, don't take the shot across the map because it's just not going to work out. However, if you have an M8A7, take that shot across the map. You need to understand your gun. Every gun is built for different things in Call of Duty. Some guns, just strictly have more recoil and obviously if you play the game or you watch videos you're going to know which guns have the most recoil and you're going to know after playing a few games with, with that gun you're going to know the power of that gun and if it has the ability to take shots so a lot of times you'll see me in my gameplays i'll see a guy across the map for a split second i don't always take the shot sometimes i'll just run up and you know plan my rush route off that because if you can't control the recoil at a long range you're, there's no point really revealing yourself on the map uh, missing shots wasting ammo other stuff like that so that's the name the number one thing run great Rip. Um, you can try the advanced technique, although it is it's is kind of difficult and it works only good on guns where you, you have to know the recoil pattern. So, for example, the FFAR in Black Ops 3, which is the FAMAS DLC gun, the recoil pattern is up and to the right. So if you're a really advanced player, you pull down to the left a little bit. It's kind of a more complicated thing. It's something that a lot of people will do on uh, CSGO, Counter-Strike Go, but it's a lot easier to do with the PC, with a, with a mouse and keyboard. Very, very difficult to do on um, console where most Call of Duty players play next one is going to be how can you play objective with maintaining a good kd also how do i know where and when to peak so this is a good question you'll see me talk about you know um, a lot of times how to maintain a good kd but i don't talk too much about how to play the objective at the same time now a lot of I, I would say uh, new players or casual players, they think playing the objective just means suicide, run for B-DOM, run on B-DOM, die, 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 run to the hard point, die, die, die. When Call of Duty is a casual game, it is much more tactical than that. One th some things you can do to clear out objectives is using your kill streaks. You know, you call in the lightning strike, boom, it goes on, down on B-Domination, and then you go in and capture. You use smoke grenades. You make sure you kill enemies and make sure you know that they're spawning far enough away before you hop on the flag, and make sure you do it with teammates. Don't just run and hop on a flag every single time. Even if it's that you know 190 to 190 point in domination, you can't just suicide for the flag because that will very rarely ever work. You're going to have to pull off like a, a triple kill or something to stay alive. It's best to take out enemies first, kill first, objective second. And that's not even like a selfish strategy. That's the, the way you play Call of Duty. And that's how most pro players will do it too. They'll say, okay, one player down, two players down, three players down. Now we get on the hard point. That's how Call of Duty is built on and is more tactical game than some people give it credit for. Next question is going to be, hey Goblin, I love your vids. How can I win more gunfights and have a faster reaction time when I see an enemy? So this is a good question. As far as reaction time, there's not much you can do to improve it except play a lot. And you know, of course, if you if you played sports or something, that could help your reaction time. Um, but if you're, you know, usually your reaction time is in its prime around your teenage years or your early 20s. If some people, I know there's, uh, there's some older people that watch my videos. If you're 40 years old or 50 years old, your reaction time probably won't be as good as it was when you were in your younger years. So there's not much you can do to improve your reaction time except actually like, you know, real life, like reaction time improving drills and stuff like that, which I would really wouldn't say is worth it. The main thing is you don't need to improve your reaction time. You need to improve on knowing when you have to react and when you see an enemy like like you said you want to improve your reaction time when you see an enemy what if you already knew when you're going to see an enemy this is something i talk about a lot running quick draw running stock pre-aiming around corners if you're pre-aiming around a corner there's no reaction when they come the only reaction click the trigger hold the trigger down and they're dead while they're scrambling to try to fast hands pull up their shotgun reaction time snipe you no scope you you're already ready for the gunfights and that's why you'll see there's a bunch of different play styles in call of duty but the people who are ready for gunfights usually are the ones who win it so i hope you guys did enjoy this video 
I talked really fast. I had a lot to say, and I, I got really excited talking about aiming and talking about Black Ops 3. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'd really appreciate it, guys. I think the last few episodes of this video have been in like 3,000 like stuff. I, I, I mean, I don't expect anything crazy. If you made it to the end, drop me a like. Leave a question down in the comment section down below for the next episode. Smash that like button, subscribe for cooking, and don't looky, and I'm out. Peace.